and in health. And in health. To love. To love. Cherish. Cherish. And to obey. <laughs> we didn't talk about that one in counseling. We did talk about that in counseling. Yes, we did. So you want me to repeat that again? You want to just keep going? I think we can keep going. It's all right. Sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. Cherish. Cherish. And to obey. <laughs> we didn't talk about that one in counseling. We did talk about that in counseling. Yes, we did. So you want me to repeat that again? You want to just keep going? I think we can keep going. It's all right. Sickness. And. Shalom, Yasharala. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all look. It's fourteen forty, man. Where it was, Kahalayim Laya Halba Shmi So yeah, man. I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechaha Kodesh. Double honours to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Salutations to the Archeum out there teaching this word in truth and sincerity. And shalom to the few Arquathium that be listening in today. I'm just on a, my lunch break right now and I've got quite a few precepts I want to go through. So Lord willing, I can hit all the precepts I want to hit in the time that I've got. But anyways, the title of this lesson is Eve is through You see <laughs> These proud ass Israelite women Okay, especially you southern kingdom women You know, Judah, Benjamin and Levi You're going to learn that That proud, haughty That, you know, that haughtiness that you have Is going to land you in, 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 a, in very dire situations, man You know um, you, you need to understand that See you southern kingdom women man The reason why uh, Most of you are all fat And out of shape The reason why you ain't got hair on your head Okay You know you gotta you got go to Elam Which are the East Indians You know to go to get some wigs Or weave and all of that stuff The reason why You know your downstairs area You struggle with, 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 with you know Maintaining a pleasant smell for some of you is because of your wickedness, man. And you that look, this ain't my own vain opinion, all right. You can read all about it in uh, 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 uh what is that? It's in the book of Isaiah. Damn, I thought I had it. Is it Isaiah 13? It's not Isaiah 13. Let me let me look for it real quick. Isaiah three, all right. So what you have about Shemir Shai? You can read all about it in Isaiah three. Okay, this ain't a, this ain't really on my list, but you know, the point is there anyway. Which since I'm here, I might as well read a bit. This is Isaiah three and sixteen. Moreover. The Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion, which are you Israelites, are haughty, you know, you're all proud, and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes. Uh, you you always looking for the you know the next nigger. You know, you, you can't keep you can't keep your eyes on your own man. You know, you're you're always trying to look for, for the next one, man. For the next the next the next rod to hop on. Alright? Walking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore, the Lord will smite with the scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion and the Lord will discover their secret parts. You see, so you, you, you women, you, you, you know, uh, uh, Judah women, all right, you southern kingdom women who struggle to grow your hair and, you know, it's, it's, they, they always got the same story. Oh, yeah, uh, my mom, does, you know, when I was younger. But no, man, it's a curse. From the Heavenly Father, man. That's the reason why all of you, most of you, are in that position, man. Where you can't grow your hair and now you got to go to Elam and get, um, and get an expensive Brazilian weave or, 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 or a wig. 
all right, to cover that boldness, but you don't understand or you fail to realize that that boldness is a result of your wickedness, man. Okay. And you know, uh, Isaiah 3, it, it, it goes into it all, man. You know, but let me jump down to uh, verse 24. And it shall come to pass that instead of a sweet smell, there shall be stink. You know, a lot, a lot, a lot of you uh, uh, Southern Kingdom women, you stink, man. You know, and, and even in, in that downstairs department. Okay. And instead of a girdle, a rent. You know, you, you, you women all fat and out of shape. You know, and, and it's like you can't do anything about it. Well, you can. You can change that diet for one. You know, but all you, all you uh, 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 wicked Israelite women do is, oh, you, you, you know, you stress eat and, and, you know, you don't think you need a man and... Then you you know when you're uh, when you're home alone, uh, and you know the reality hits you, you know that's when you just you just you know start gobbling it down, man. You see, now now you all fat as fuck, and then you wonder why no one desires you, man. You know, statistically, you 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 so-called black women are the least desirable women, man. Here you have this woman here on her wedding day, and she she can't even repeat the words of how she's gonna obey her husband, man. You know, completely out of fucking order. Out of order, man. And instead of a girdle, a rent. And instead of well-set hair, boldness. Okay, so it mentioned it again. Right? And instead of a stomacher, a girdle of sackcloth. And burning instead of beauty. You know, a lot of you, to be honest, man. You know, a lot of you, especially you Southern Kingdom women, are ugly as hell. You know? And and I'm I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but hey, you know, I can only speak on what I see. A lot of you are, are ugly as hell, man. You know, uh, uh, what does Elder Apostle uh, uh, Rakhat go into, man? You know, you big Shirley's, man. You all fat and out of shape. You know, uh, uh, your face is all, you know, all screwed up and all tough, and you know, you look unapproachable. And you wonder why niggas don't want you, man. You know. But that's a curse onto you for your wickedness. But even, even in the lowest state that the Lord has brought you under, you are still uh, uh, proud as hell. You know, which is, <laughs> that bemuses me, man. You, you still be proud as hell, man. I don't need a man. No, a man, a man don't want you. Okay? You, you've, been, you've gone so long with, with riding solo that, that you think that you don't need a man. No, man don't want you. Okay? Eve is through, man. You know, when when the, the pastor, you know, he was uh, inaugurating the, the marriage, you know, he's like, oh, should we, should, we, should we go over that part again? What did she say? Oh, no, we, we, we can continue our way. We can skip that one or, or some shit like that, man. You know, in a, in a foolish pride. Right? You know, the, the Lord is about to do a number on you uh, 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 um, um, uh, wicked Israelite women, man. You wicked Israelite women are going to, you know, that, that think you're the shit. You don't want to submit to your man and you want to wear the trousers and you, you don't want to, uh, uh, you know, get, get, in your, or get in order. You're going to see what the Lord's going to do to you, man. In, in the time of trouble that's fastly approaching. Okay. Hey, don't shoot the messenger, man. I, 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 I'm, just, I'm just, you know, relaying the message of the Heavenly Father, man. This ain't my own opinion. This is just how it's meant to be. I, 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 um, I, um, according to the scriptures. Okay. This is 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. And it reads, this is uh, Apostle Paul speaking, Be ye followers of me, even as I am of Hamashiach. Okay, Yahweh Shai. Verse 2, Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things, and keep the ordinances as I delivered them unto you. All right, so these ordinances that the Apostle Paul is about to deliver unto us, is commanded that we keep them. As he is, as he has given unto, as he has given it unto us, man. Not to change about the order because, you know, you know that, that's what Eve wants to do, man. She she want to, you know, just, uh, uh, change the narrative to work in her favor, man. Okay, well, and and the thing that these Israelite women don't understand is that if you actually just played your position, what you'll come to realize is that you you you'll be a lot happier, man. A lot of you. Uh, uh, um, you know Israelite women are unhappy Because You don't want to get in order man You don't want to repent 
you don't want to do things the right way. And then you wonder why here you are with five kids, all right, or however many kids you got. You're working, or you're work, you're working so hard, and then and then you gotta come home, and you still gotta look after them children, man. You know, cause you 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 don't believe that you uh, uh, need support from a man. You believe that oh, I can do bad on my own. Well, you literally are, and will be doing bad on your own, man, in the times to come. But anyways, man, I <laughs> I got these precepts I want to get out, man. Let me let me shut up, man, and and and, and you know let the precepts do the talking, man. Verse three. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Yahweh Shai is the Most High Yahweh. That is the order in which the Most High, all right, the, the, the highest uh, uh, um, being in existence, that's the order that he set. Okay? But, but you know, the proudness of Eve, you you think that you know better than 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 the, the 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 highest being, the Most High that created you. Tell me that ain't some shit, man. You Eve, you Eveites are so proud, man. You know it can't can't no one tell you shit. You got it all figured out. You got it all figured out, man. But then when Jacob's trouble comes, you know, then you realize, oh shit, I ain't really got it all figured out. And 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 you know, men. <laughs> The Israelite man in his right mind, the elect man ain't gonna want to deal with your bullshit in that day, man. Cause we we've put up with your bullshit for long enough, man. You see? Let's go to the book of Job. Chapter 39. And verse 17, and it reads, Because the most I have deprived her of wisdom. Neither hath he imparted to her understanding. But here you are, even though you have scriptures like this, you, Eva, still think you know best. You don't need to listen to your man. You can do things your own way. You got it all figured out, you know. Don't you understand that your salvation comes through a man? Through an elect man of the Lord, all right? The Lord ain't dealing with you Israelite women. The Lord deals with the man. All right, we just read the order in 1 Corinthians 11, man. The head of Yahweh Shai is who? The Most High Yahweh. The head of the man is Yahweh Shai, which the elect will be following. All right, and then the head of the woman is the man. So you don't just get to skip the man and go to Yahweh Shai and then, ooh, yippity day, you're, you're saved. No, man. Let me, let, me, let me put it to you this way. There ain't going to be no single women uh, 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 in the chariots, man. Oh, I'm a single lady. Oh, I'm a single lady. No, man, that shit ain't gonna be happening in the chariots, man. You know, all the women that will be beamed up in the chariots will be, uh, uh, um, um, you know, tied to a man. Whether that one man has just one woman, five women, seven women, seven hundred women, whatever, man. All right, a man it is within a man's right to deal with more than one woman but then but then evil tell you well if he can do it then so can i no you can't men and women are, are, are you know of a completely different anatomy man the way your bodies are designed you're not designed to be holding multiple rods all right that that's not the way you was designed man you know you need to stop all this mindset of 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 of, of uh equality all right, because there ain't no, ain't no one equal, man. You know, we ain't on the same level. And that's what you, you Israelite women, you fail to understand. Oh, yeah, but if he can do it, so can I. No, you can't, man. You destroy yourself doing that. This is what the highest being in existence says. But you want to go against him because of your emotions, man. Because all you are is led by your emotions. You know, just you, you just based on how you feel justifies whatever the hell, whatever actions you take, man, with your emotional decisions. That's stupid, man. As well as us men, we apply logic and reasoning, which is why you need to be led by a man. Okay. But Eve is through, man. Let's get First Peter. This is First Peter chapter three and verse one. Likewise, ye wives. Be in subjection to your own husband, that if any obey not the word, 
They also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives while they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear. Okay, let's read this in the NLT for, for more clearer understanding. Okay, in the same way, you wives must accept the authority of your husbands. You see that? You must accept the authority of your husbands. But you have that woman in that video talking about um, um, obey. <laughs> we didn't talk about that in counseling. And the pastor said, yeah, we did. You know, these, these stupid women, man. All right, honestly, if, if you if you if you Israelite women, you are stupid, you look, man. Why is it that the 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 the, the, um, the, the women of the other nations can happy, happily and willingly submit to their husbands, but you have a problem with it, man, and you wonder why things ain't working out for you? It's not it's not rocket science, man. Rise up, you women that are at ease. Okay, reading on. Then even if some refuse to obey the good news, which is this gospel. Your godly lives will speak to them without any words. They will be won over by observing your pure and reverent lives. So don't worry about if your friend is a, oh yeah, you know, her, her, your friend's husband's a complete simp. And you know, he, 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 she just gets everything her way. She wears the trousers and now you envy that. No, don't look at that, man. Instead, lead by example. Be that Proverbs 31 woman, okay? And and let other, and, and and let others see how 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 your relationship blossoms, how you're all happy, and 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 you know then then people will follow through with that. We like you know what maybe this is the way forward, man. But you women, you look up to like Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Beyonce, and all that crap, and and you follow after them. And those bitches ain't shit, man. Those bitches ain't shit. And then you wonder why things ain't working out for you, man. All this take me as I am bullshit, man. You know, you, you don't want to, um, you know, uh, hey, 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 you have a, a, a list, all right? A list looking like, like all the chapters in the Bible on, on what you require from a man. But then, when, but then the other way around, oh, just take me as I am. <laughs> Eve is through, man. Eve is fucking through. And, and, and she, don't, she might not see that now. But when we're in the time of Jacob's trouble and she has no man, she has no hedge of protection around her, she's going to realise how through she is and it's going, to be, uh, it's going to be too late for a lot of these uh, uh, wicked Israelite women, man. Okay? It's Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. So on top of you being simple and not knowing anything, you're the loudest in the room. You have an argument, you know, you're, you're the one raising your voice. You know, making all kind of noises, man. And, and, and really, you're simple and you know nothing, man. <laughs> Look what it says in the NLT. The woman named Folly is brash. She's ignorant and doesn't know it. So not only are you ignorant, you don't even know you're ignorant, man. Because guess what? She knows it all. According to her mind, according to her emotions... Because you see, women, they justify everything via their emotions, man. They don't use logic and reasoning. If they feel a certain way, then that must be the right way. No, man. You see, and that's what separates a man from a woman. And that's why a woman needs to be led by a man. Because a man can feel whatever emotions he's feeling. But if he knows that through logic and reasoning that uh, uh, he has to go that way, he will go that way no matter how it feels, man. Okay, which is why, like, you got the men of the Lord, okay, you know, uh, um, if, if we was to go by our emotions, we wouldn't stay in the truth, man. Because if we was to go by emotions, we'll be like, oh, well, when I was in the world, life was easy, everyone liked me, and this, that, and the other, uh, and, you know, I missed that life, so I'm just going to go back to it, okay? But then the logic and reasoning kicks in and you see the bigger picture, you see the salvation, you know, uh, uh, receiving spiritual power, receiving new bodies in which you will never, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, sin against the most high. You'll be in your right mind. If you just stick to it, you know, you'll be defended in the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. Even though things are hard now, you see, but that logic and reasoning kicks in. And that's why it's important to have a man leading you, man. All right. Because Eve is, you know, she gets in her emotions and, and she might do or say something that she'll regret later on because of, oh, that's just how I felt. Fuck you, man. Fuck you and your feelings. 
You know, and let me tell you something. Jake men are waking up to the bullshit of Eve, man. And, and they ain't having it no more. You know, you, you Eve, you know, you wonder why your sons, oh, why, why are they in gangs and why are they just smoking weed, doing nothing with their lives, selling drugs? Well, guess what? You kicked the father out of the home, all right? He would have brought that discipline and, and he was raised by you, Big Shirley, all right? But then somehow, it, it, you know, it's, it's everyone's fault but your own, man. That's another thing. You struggle with accountability. The, the list is endless, man. But then, but then, for everything you say about her, she's got something to say about men. Ah, but men did. Ah, but shut the fuck up, man. How about you look at yourself for once? Take a look in the mirror for once, man, and hearken on to what the men of the Lord are saying to you. Because, yeah, cool, the message might be rough, but ultimately it's to save your soul, man. But you can't see that because of, because of your, your, your proud and haughty spirit, man. The same spirit that got you, that got you, uh, that that you know stripped you of your hair, stripped you of your of your your dignity, you know, stripped you of of of, of your 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 well set body, you know, because because you was you were just proud as hell, man. You know, a lot of you women be be operating in that in a in a very masculine vibration, man, and that shit ain't attractive. I'll tell you that for free, man. That shit ain't cool. You know, a man loves a feminine woman, man, a, a real woman, okay, a submissive one, that, that's what women do, you submit to your man, we just read that in First Peter 3, okay, just like how the men submit to Yahweh Shai, right, there's an order, this is Sirach 25 and 13, give me any plague, but the plague of the heart, meaning the mind, and any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman, man, because you women will be wicked as hell, you know. But but again, accountability. You don't want to see it. You don't want to accept it. You know, you you women's shit don't stink. You you can never do anything wrong. And if you are proven wrong, you uh, by way of your emotions, you feel like you done the right thing. All right, because again, you're led by emotions. Right. Let's jump down to sixteen. I'd rather dwell with a lion and a dragon. Than to keep house with a wicked woman, man. <laughs> you hear that? To you, you know, for a man to say, I would rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. That goes to show you that that men don't really take well to to that haughty spirit, that proud spirit, that argumentative spirit, that you can't tell me shit spirit, that you won't obey spirit. Well, man, men don't. It don't rub well with men. To the simps out there in the world, maybe, but to a, a true masculine man, and furthermore, a man of the Lord, that shit ain't gonna ain't gonna go down too well, man. You know. Um, verse seventeen: the wickedness of a woman changeth her face, and darkeneth her countenance as sad cloth, as as sad cloth, sackcloth. You see, and you women be looking through, man. You know, you, you look at most of these Evats, especially these Southern Kingdom women, and you, you just know that, that they ain't happy, you know. They got that bitter screw face on, making them look ugly as hell, all right, on top of how horrible they're already looking, you know. And again, this ain't talking about all you so-called black women, all right, but I mean, it's, it's the vast majority, to be honest, <laughs> to be honest, you know. Verse 18, her husband shall sit among his neighbours and when he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. So now you got to have your husband, man. He's leaving the house. He's telling his boys. He's telling the people around him. Ah, oh, yeah, man, this woman, man. Yeah, she just don't listen. And, uh, you know, it's just stressful and yada, yada, yada. And uh, it's just, nah, you know, oh, man, I don't think I can do this, man. Yeah, because of your wickedness, man. Because you're a proud and haughty spirit. Because no, you, you, you know, no man can tell you shit, man. Oh, I, I ain't obeying no man. Okay. <laughs> we'll see where the attitude leads you. Verse 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. And a lot of you women are going to get caught up in Jacob's trouble, man. And you're going to see the elect Lord, the elect, uh, Salaki, the uh, uh, elect men saving the, 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 the you know, the righteous woman. You know, the ones that willingly submit and hearken and add value to that man's life. 
you're going to see those women getting saved and you're going to wonder why your ass ain't being saved by an elect man of the Lord. And it's because of your, 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 your haughtiness, man, your proud spirit. You don't obey. You, you want to wear the trousers. Man, this, this shit is tiring, man. Jake is waking up to your bullshit, man. And they're moving on. You got the passport, bros. Okay. You got the passport, bros, going to, to other countries. Because you Western women, you Western Israelite women are, are through, man. You know, you ain't even women no more. All right. Uh, verse 22. A woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger, impudence and much reproach. Meaning, you know, you maintain your husband, you're all like, oh, where you going, by the time you're coming back. And, and, you know, you're all up in his business, you know, telling him do this and do that. That, that shit don't rub well with, with, a, with, a, with a true masculine man Especially a man of the Lord Alright um, 23 A wicked woman Abateth the courage Maketh a heavy countenance And a wounded heart A woman that will not comfort her husband In distress Maketh weak hands and feeble knees Alright So, so you, you need to understand the impact you're having By, by just not being a uh, um, um, uh, a submissive woman, man You know, a helpmate As you was meant to be As you was designed to be You see All that just trying to stress your man out And, and think you're getting somewhere, man You're getting nowhere with that shit Alright Of the woman came the beginning of sin And through her we all die, man And you gotta remember that, Eve Sivrach 26 and 7 An evil yoke An evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro he that I've hold of her is as though he had held a scorpion. All right, so you, you, you don't want to do that shit. You don't want to have no, uh, 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 you know, yoke upon you. All right, but this is what it feels like dealing with you, with you wicked Israelite women, man. You know, but you, you, you know, if if any of you do end up watching this video, you probably be cut and offended, and again getting your emotions and nah, nah, oh, but man, yeah, but man, shut up, man. Just shut up for once, man, and just fucking listen. Yeah, that's the problem, man. You 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 don't want to listen. But then when it comes to Big Daddy Esau, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yes, boss. Yeah, yeah, oh, you want that at that time? Okay, I got I got you, boss. You know, going above and beyond for Esau, man. But for for the Israelite man, who is who is your, you know, your superior, you wanna you wanna walk over him like stairs, man. <sighs> Crazy. Verse 14, a silent and loving woman is a gift from the Lord and there is nothing so much as worth a mind well instructed. You see, a shamefaced and faithful woman is a double grace and her continent mind cannot be valued. And to have a continent mind is that, you know, an incontinent mind is, you know, you're uncontrollable and, you know, you used to do your own thing. All right, but a continent mind, you, 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 you know, you, you, you can be... Uh, uh, controlled and you're happy with that And that's not to say that like, your, your man's just going to be a complete narcissist Or whatever But you know you're willing to submit to his will Okay Because that's what you was made for You are the help meet man The man The woman was created for the man Not the man for the woman You need to think, you need to remember that Okay I got, I got to rush through these couple precepts now man Because I got to get back to the job Get back to the plantation field man this is Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man in the golden wedge of Ophir. I didn't say the woman, man. In the time of trouble to come, the, the, the heavenly father is going to raise up his elect men. All right. And if you women uh, are looking to get saved, then you better get in, in order, man, and submit to, to whatever man is appointed onto you and not do the cock carousel because, you, 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 you know, you're going to be uh, uh, tied to that one man for eternity, man. You women weren't made to, you know, deal with multiple men, all right? That that destroys you, man. But then, then, oh, but if he can do it, I can do it too. Just shut up, man. Just shut up. Isaiah 32. Uh, let's get verse 9 real quick. Rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall you be troubled, you careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. That old way of feminism and all that bullshit is all going to fail, man. The new thing is going to be to submit to your man or you're going to die. 
Tremble you women that are at ease, be troubled, you careless ones, strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Alright. So you're gonna be in that mourning state, man. Let's jump up to verse two. And a man shall be as an hiding place from the wind, which is the destruction, and as a covert from the tempest, the violent storm, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So that's what it's gonna be like to have a, a man of the Lord in that day, man. He's gonna be able to save you out of all your troubles and he's gonna protect you from the dangers. You're gonna, you know, uh, um, um, the spirit of the Lord is gonna lift up a standard upon him. So Esau, Edom, wherever Esau, Edom is coming with, you wait and you see what the Lord is gonna do on the right hand side. All right. And that's all. And, and, and you women that will be worthy of that salvation are those of you that will submit to your man. All right. Okay. And hearken on to everything he says. And you know, you, you, you obey his will, which ultimately is the Heavenly Father's will. Because the Israelite man is following Yahweh Shah, and Yahweh Shah is following Yahweh. That's the order, man. All right. At last precept, Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. All right. So to be called by thy name means that you're, means that you're married onto that man. And you see, you women ain't going to care if a man's dealing with one woman, two women, a thousand women in that time. All you're going to care about is just, just choose me, pick me. I don't care if you're dealing with... Uh, uh, so and so and so and so man I want you to deal with me too Because I want to be saved too Alright Because you women ain't getting beamed up As I said There ain't going to be no single ladies In the chariots man Oh my single ladies Oh my single ladies That ain't going to be happening In the chariots man You women that get beamed up Into the chariots Are going to have a man Alright Because that's the order man Your salvation comes through a man and So none of this bullshit Of oh I'm leaving you And I don't care and You cool fine You can go ahead and do that But let's know that if you've, if you've left the man of the Lord An elect man of the Lord That's your salvation done man You know And you're going to be beaten With many stripes Why? Because you knew better You knew better And you still decided to, to go left man So yeah I'm going to have to go back To the plantation now I pray Lord willing This lesson has been edifying Until the next time I say Shalom